Okay, how you guys doing today? I just did a video for like, welcome to my channel. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but I did it. And I, that'll stay up for a little bit. So if you see this odd, weird video of like, welcome to my channel, and I say it 12 times, it's me. So I painted another coat of blue on here, but I am, let me see if I can get my light. A little better. I don't know because I got my window open, but my orange is just okay. Let's just let's just leave it be. Okay. Um, I will say I'm not dig. I I it must be the mixed media girl in me because I'm really not digging the plain blue around it. It's just even if I put a quote down here, it's just not enough. Now I know I'm gonna glitter around these and um, I must have got some orange in there somehow. I'm just wiping that down a little bit to kind of get that around. Okay. So what to do, what to do? Do I want to add some texture? I'm very confused. Don't want to go like way out there with this because it can make it a little crazy looking. And I don't want that. And I'm so confused. Maybe I will do, uh, let's see. Remember when I did these flowers on the paint chips and I kept the other parts? Maybe what I'll do is do some molding paste on these. But what I'll do is, hmm, thinking, 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 not my best thing in the world to do is think, not really. Okay, maybe I will hmm, take some molding paste. I'm just going to take molding paste and you can make your own molding paste. I have a video on here on how to do it. And maybe I will. Okay, excuse me, I'm so tired today. Um. <laughs> maybe I will. What will I do? What will I do? I need to find a little scraper outer. I got a little tongue depressor thing. I'm going to take some of this out and I'm going to lay it on my mat here, which you can't see because this is too bright, but if I turn that off, see how dark it gets? But I just can't find, Dave had it at the perfect angle, and as always, what do I do? I screw it up. Because so I think I know better, and then I don't. So let's just leave it at that. All right, so I think I'm going to take some molding paste and put it out. Out there, right there. I probably should shut my curtain, but I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna take the yellow, and I think what I'm gonna do is squeeze some just a little bit of yellow in there in my molding paste, because you can color your molding paste, and I'm gonna stir it around. Stir it, stir it, mix it, mix it. And if you've made your own fiber paste or molding paste, you definitely can do this too. I like mixing I'm actually I used all my molding and fiber paste that I made. I didn't make as much as I should have, but I did use it all. And uh but you can definitely make like a big bunch of it and then color it different colors and then use it for your paintings. So I'm gonna take some on that. I'm going to move this so you can see it. I'm going to push this down and hope that you can see it over my big hands. This might be hard to... I just kind of want to go over it once. It might not be the best tool to use. She says after she smashes it all in there. Just kind of get it in there. Just kind of do that and then lift it up. Okay. I'm not hating. I'm going to kind of get that little bit of yellow off that's smeared. I'm going to set it. I just want to add a, like, a little bit of interest to this. I'm going to make it 
some better to do on the tip there, just lay it in the middle, kind of push it that way. Push it that way. Okay. You know, of course, in the middle of it, I'm like, what can I use instead of this piece of crab wooden thing? It's great to start with, but. I need something that's going to like take it flat. Let's see, that takes too much off. Maybe because I pushed more. I don't want to, you don't want to really play around too much because I can't have 12 hands to hold this down so it doesn't smear. But that did good. That did good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know what that is on there. Get off. Okay. So let's set it here. I just want some pops of color. I think I might have done it. I don't know. This is going to be harder because this is where the canvas kind of has the hard back, but then it goes soft. Does, you know, like where the board is. Probably should have done this on a ah, first fuck up. I don't like fuck ups. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Get that mark there. I'm just scraping it off. Sorry. You're coming off because I don't like, I don't like, and I see that it went through a little bit. Now, remember, these are only, um, these are just paper, you know, paint things that I've cut out and they work great. I meant to treat them with a little bit of white school glue or just, uh, not just so, uh, gel medium, whatever, you know, whatever you have. Um, I didn't cause they're sitting here. And they still work great, you see. It's just that, I mean, I did how many successfully? Two successfully. Now, the reason I'm doing, I'm adding color to these are because I am going to go over it. Maybe if I turn it this way, it'll be a little bit easier. Um, I am going to go over it with yellow paint to kind of fill in, I think. I'm not sure. But I want that pop of color. Do you see the pop of color that it brings? And I'm digging on that. So... I'm going to wipe off the back of this card. I wonder if I have, maybe I have other flowers. Let me look. One never knows with me. Let's see. Jeez. Everything fell off my desk the other day. I don't know why. Nobody was in here. My husband said, um, he walked in here and goes, did you get mad and throw everything everywhere? I said, no, I did not. This is a one cut out of fun foam. I don't know if this will do the trick. And I should have grabbed, what I should have grabbed was my, um, ta like, double side tacky tape. But we'll see. I can always wipe it off if not. Because this kind of spreads a little bit more than I wanted to. I just want to get this corner. Come on, be with me. Work with me. I don't. If not, I'll just clean it up and take it off again. Oh, it looks like shit. So you can go into the garbage because I don't want you. Can it be saved? Can it be saved? Can it be saved? I don't know. I want the petals to be a little bit thicker. I mean, have it thicker, wider. This petal just looks like it. Ugh. Don't know how happy I am with this. Scrape that off. I don't think I'm really happy with that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm telling you, this painting is giving me the worst pain in the ass. But I'm, I'm going to do it. It is not going to defeat me. Oh no, does it not know who I am? And again, I'm doing this to show you guys that this happens. Not everything comes out perfect, although I would like it to. It doesn't. Okay, so let's try to wipe this back off of here. Get our paint on here. Let's try this one more time, shall we? This is a very hard place. I probably should have 
tacked it down. Did I know? Do we know why I didn't? No. Because my name's Kelly. And that would be too simplistic. But that came out good. Okay. All right. I'm hanging. I'm hanging. Now, the question is, because I always have questions. We have these three. I have the littlest bit of orange left in here. I don't know if it would be enough, though. Let me see. Let me wet my brush. Let me get this orange out of here. wonder if we mix a little bit of orange in this bright yellow now. I know. Stick with me here. I know. You guys are like, we've seen what happens when you mix, Kelly. I know. I've seen it, too. I've been there. I've experienced it. Let's see if we get a nice light orange then to kind of bring everything together. Will we? I don't know. Could I have ruined this? Maybe. But I'm just going to stir. It's just going to be not as bright as that yellow. So we're like pretending like it's frosting. Hello, frosting friend. And just stick this little bit of morning paste in this little bit of water left in there and stir it in. It's got a little brown tinge to it, but I'm okay. Let's see what it looks like with the blue. Right, scrape and scrape and scrape and lift them. Okay. Okay. I don't mind if there's a little bit of. I, know, I talk to myself. Please excuse me. Okay, let me just scrape that off there. I'm going to wipe this off in case there's anything. I wish I could find a bigger or smaller flower. Life would be fantastic. Even if I could find one of my... I hate when I start cleaning and then just pile things and then everything fell. And then like all my... Everything. Like my one ink pad fell over on the top bar. Lord only knows if it's still going to work. Am I bitter? No, I'm not bitter. So where the heck is my thing? Hmm. Sad when things like this happen, isn't it? Poop. Oh, well, I'll just do it. I'll just stick with the flower theme. That's all right. I really don't want to go too crazy. Because I am going to write a quote. Okay. So that's a little deeper color, but we got some spillage here. And some spillage there. So I'm just going to take my finger and wipe that off the edge. And Wipe that off. And it's okay. I'm just going to pull some of this out into this flower. Put a little bit on my finger, maybe. Yeah, just kind of give it a little pulled look. And then you can use a Q-tip. You don't have to use your finger. Remember, we're just kind of giving texture. Except my fingers are fat, so I shall use a Q-tip. I'm just kind of pat it down a little bit. Okay. So one more, I think. We'll do right here. Maybe we'll do like half of it. Why am I using that? Didn't ask questions, Cal. Now, I can see this. 
wipe that off. See, this is kind of like, I kind of want to be a petal, but I don't know. But I want it to be on. So I'm just going to kind of push those so it's not sticking off. Kind of smooth it up into the middle. Now, here's the thing. There's always a thing with me. Okay. I'm doing this for texture. I'm just going to clean it up around there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Okay, so you can now go in. Wait, I'm trying to. <laughs> Let's try the thought. I wanna, I'm going to put a saying down here. So now you can go in. We have our things. Now you can go in with something and make little dots in there if you want. Zigzags, zentai, whatever you want to do. My goodness, excuse me. Water coming back like that shouldn't happen. Um, whatever you want to do. You know, like I think this needs a little dollop in there. like to Just a little texture because we're going to paint over it. Or maybe not. It depends on how it dries. I like this um, because it's raised up. I don't like what I just did there. So I'm going to go back in. And again, if you don't like it, just take it off and do it again. It doesn't matter. Because it's wet. It's just paint. And a little bit of molding paste. Or spackle. You can use your spackle. Go in your husband's garage or in your garage significant other's garage, whatever you have. It's up to you. Now, while that dries for a moment, I'm going to clean out this one thing here. I got all my India inks that dried that did not work like they were supposed to out of my containers. So got my some of my containers back. I do have to work on some of them still a little bit, but I don't think the color is going to bleed. <sighs> but that one's empty. So what I'm going to do is take my my thing here while those dried. I'm going to pick it up. And I have my thing and I'm just going to scoop it in. These are very inexpensive containers. I got these at Michaels. I think like 2.99 or something and you get like two rows of them. But you can get them anywhere or use anything. I have tons of baby food jar bottles because my husband has to feed his dog biba food or eggs or something because he has two teeth and he's just, he won't eat. He, he won't eat for days if he, he doesn't eat what my husband makes. Him. So that's what we've been doing. So I'm going to scrape off my stencil. I know you can't really see. But I'll show you this when I'm done. And that's my stencil. And I can save it or I could throw it away. And I'm just going to throw that away because I have tons of them. I just don't know exactly where I put them. I'm going to scrape off my wooden thing. I have tons of these somewhere too. I don't know where. Um, and then you can wipe it off with your napkin or underwater. It's it's fine and then scrape up what I can get here because this is like good stuff and you can mix another color in here mix some blue and make it green mix you know whatever I have this nice little thing this little pot full and you see I only used a little bit I made a lot I'm gonna scrape it a little bit more because I hate wasting So, see, so that whole pot's filled, and what I will do is scrape it away, make it flat. I will, before I wipe those off, I will take and wipe around. Always when you're putting things in bottles or jars, wipe around where the cap goes, so it doesn't stay stuck doesn't get stuck rather and then you have to go run into your husband's office like you're panicking much 
and you have, and you could tap it, and it'll go down more. And this is sealed shut, airtight. And now I have yellow and golden paste in there. I know. You don't have to tell me. Now I'm just going to wipe off my tools. And if you want and you have your water, just throw them in your water. The wooden one I'll wipe because that's easier to wipe than that plastic one because that plastic one has a lot of dried stuff on it. So it'll just be easier. And now my stick's wiped off. All good. And that'll go back where it came from. And then we will wipe this up. I know, a lot of watching me do a lot of nothing, isn't it? Just put my finger in something I probably should not. Um, and if it gets dry and you're like, oh, gee, you know, whatever. I use the uh, nonstick mats. I use them for everything. That's how I paint. That bottle doesn't work now. But, um, you know, if you're using your parchment paper or a desk or wax paper, or whatever, it's the same thing. It just, it'll come right off. You know, you just want to, because it's dyed with the paint. Now, I just don't want to have, get it all over the place. I know some people, I mean, if I was smart, I have tons of brown. I have a big humongous roll of brown paper that I got for doing, um, for painting. Um, what did I get it for? It's in the painting aisle. I got it for five bucks. It's humongous. And it's for when you paint so things don't get on the ground and to like, uh, you know, your molding and all that kind of thing. But I bought it to do, uh, to make fabric, uh, to make clothes, to make patterns. And I have it over there and I really should put it on my desk because then all that extra goodness would have been texture for something. So that's where we're kind of at right now. And I like the way that it adds that to that. Now let me grab my glitter glue. Glitter glue, glitter glue. What did I do with my glitter glue? Yeah, I see that. I don't want pink. I want I never seem to have orange. I never seem to have enough, Jesus, peace of Christ, um, whatever, sorry. I never seem to have enough orange <laughs> all over the place today. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. While things are drying, I'm going to squirt some yellow glitter in here. Because you have to have glitter. And I'm just going to take my finger. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to stay in the lines. Because I'm going to outline it in orange. So I just want this glitter to really add. A little bit of sparkle in there too and you can use a little paintbrush but you know to get up into the things I'll probably just use my q-tip that I have here and I'm just gonna kind of scooch it around okay and then Now I'm just going to take my Q-tip really quickly and kind of hit those ends if they kind of went out a little bit and just bring them up to the tips of the flame. Gonna add some pizzazz in there. And once that's dry, when you look at it, if you want to go back and do more, by all means, go back and do more. Can you ever have enough glitter? Mm -mm. Nope, you can't. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do, since it's already wet, and we're getting up there in time, and I don't want to keep you guys forever. 
I'm going to go in with my orange and I'm just going to go on the tips and we're just going to cover. I lift up the bottle because it just gives me a better view of what I'm doing and a better line. And I know I missed some and I'll go back. And just take your knob and take it out there. And if you have a big bump, we'll go back in with the Q-tip. And let's do here. This just covers up mistakes. Gives you a sharp point. If you want it a little thicker. And I don't worry about it too much because the uh, you know flames, like I said, there's all kinds of different. Now I'm gonna bring it down here and kind of go up just to connect that. And then I'll hold it up for you. And look how cool that looks so far. No, can you see that glitter? It's delicious glitter. I see we might need a little bit more glitter up in here. Up in here, up in here. And I'm just gonna kind of go with my squeeze and put it in and go around and go around on the points a little bit more where I might. Okay. <coughs> now, I know I gotta let these dry. They're textured. Don't know where I'm gonna go from here. I'm liking that there's extra on there. I probably should figure out what quote I'm gonna do. Print it out and then glue it on. I'm gonna print it out on printer paper or I'm gonna stamp the quote. I have not quite decided yet. But um, <laughs> what I do wanna do is, let's see. Let's do some red glitter inside the heart. Let's just glitter the shit out of the heart. And that's what I love. So I'm just going to kind of do like this. And again with my finger or you can use your paintbrush. I'm just going to kind of go in because I am going to like trait like outline like outline the heart. I think, I don't know. Depends on what this looks like dry and where I go after I get. That'll be a decision I do last because I want to put the quote on. I don't want to be too busy. And I do this with the glitter glue because it just gives me more of a feel of where I want it. And that's why I use Q-tips or, you know, if you have a small brush, you can do that too. I just want when the light hits this that it, and I'll hold it up so you can see it better in a minute. When the light hits it, that you can really see the glitter. And I should have waited, I could have waited to do the red until the orange was dry. But I kind of want them dry at the same time for when I work on it again, which will probably be tomorrow. So I'm not getting my hands in, you know, into the next thing that I'm doing. Plus, um, I'll just bring that up into that orange. So everything's kind of, you don't have to blend it, but get it in there. So then everything is kind of dry and I can see where to go from there and what I want to do. Uh, tomorrow or when I do the next part of this, um, all this should be dry. And the flower is in the heart. And then, let's see the heart. Let's see if you can see the heart. Let's see. 
if I turn this down this way, will it do anything? No. You can't really see it. Even if I turn the layer off, it's not going to be. It's a little better. Can you see? Kind of hard to see. See the glitter? So I might take, yeah, I might take a, um, I think I have to get Dave to fix, to turn that, the head of this so it's not so directly there. So, um, otherwise I can't see. So, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to try to find a quote for it and get it printed out. And then um, we'll be back probably tomorrow or the next day, depending. This will be dry. I need a little more glitter here. This will be dry tomorrow. This will be dry in an hour. But I just kind of want that out. And then I'll take my Q-tip, kind of pull it in, so it's not so. Tell you what I would love to do to this, which I'm not going to do to this one, but I'd love to get it all done and then like glitter it all up and everything and then put resin on top of it and make it real glassy and shiny. So like this, like the 3D elements come out and this, yeah, but I'm not. Okay. So that's where we're at so far. We have glitterness and some molding paste and... Let's see if it'll clear. Can you, yeah, you can see the glitter there. And like I said, I can see this. I just want to lightly take my finger over so it kind of blends in. It's already starting to dry. So that's fun part new to, next to two. And you can easily do this in your art journal. So now my job is to find a quote and to, uh, and the molding paste is drying too. Find a quote and then go from there and figure out what we're going to do. Like I said, I might take a, I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I like the texture. I like this so far. Got to find a good quote. And we're getting there. It's a hell of a lot better than when I started yesterday. So I'm not going to complain. So thank you for watching. Um... Sarah, you have a piece of dog hair in the cow. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this one's not nearly as long as the other one, so you're lucky, very, very lucky. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching the other ones and giving me feedback. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, I hope you guys are creating as well. I love seeing your work. Come over and join us at All Things Creative. It's All Things Creative. Search that on Facebook and you will find our group. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I hope you guys have a great evening. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.